So this is a really cool problem. This is number 16 in chapter 24, Surway and Jewett, number 3 on the uh, web assign assignment. A particle Q is placed some distance uh, D from an infinite plane. Okay, so infinite planes are odd because they're infinite, which means they extend, you have to think about this, they extend forever in all directions. Okay, so the question is, what is the uh, electric flux uh, through the plane due to the charged particle. And this seems like it is a complex problem. But if you think about it, these, this field line, these electric field lines, okay, and if you draw a non-infinite plane, it looks like it's going to be a hard calculation to make. But, and so, well, it seems like only a portion of the field lines are going through this plane, but don't forget this plane extends in all directions forever and ever. Okay, so, except for the ones that are coming out completely horizontally okay all of the field lines that come out anything below the horizontal is going to eventually hit the plane it's going to eventually go through the plane so we then know that the flux is going to be half of the total flux and as we've seen in the last two problems the total flux would be the charge enclosed in some gaussian surface okay and our gaussian surface can be you know it it mimics the the surface that we're dealing with so let's make our gaussian surface be a um, a box if you will half of the flux will go through this bottom this bottom surface because it is so it is so massive it is so long okay and so it's simply going to be q um, over uh, two epsilon naught because the total flux through if, if we drew a, a surface throughout the whole thing the total flux would be Q over epsilon naught, oh, epsilon naught. And so with one plane, it's going to be uh, one half of that. Okay, isn't that nifty? So this is um, a numeric, I mean, a, a, a non-numeric solution. So we need to uh, type this in. So we're going to have, this is our answer. So we're going to need a fraction. And the top is Q and then 2 over, and then here's the hard part, epsilon naught, so we're going to need a Greek epsilon. We go back to the operations and we choose a subscript, and the naught is a zero. The naught is zero. So if we check our answers, hey, we get the right answer. The next part says what happens instead of an infinite plane, what if we put a charge Q that's a very small distance away from the center of a very large square. So the words very large square to a to a charge that's close to that very large square is physics speak for infinitely large. And so this answer and this answer are the same. Let's see if it does it copy and paste. Let's see. Okay. And so to a to a small charge, say an electron or a proton or whatever or then a, a, a very large square, uh, when you're close to a very large square, the square appears to be infinitely big. There you go.